at that perfect moment where working together, they could do this. Um, yeah, she was the last piece of the puzzle. She and Chuck yeah. were the last piece of the puzzle that Mary had been working toward this whole mm-hmm. time. Yeah. So that... like how much did you love that Chuck did this without using the intersect? I mean, he flashed on the Hydra at the very beginning, but the plan, mm-hmm. that was all him and office supplies. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and putting putting it all together, which you can see NBC has a little an exclusive up on their on their Chuck site mm-hmm. where you can actually go explore that big wall of cards and photos and strings. Yeah. Oh, speaking about that, we did. we didn't mention in the news um, about uh, there's a few uh, sites that NBC is putting up uh, mm-hmm. relating to this. That's that's one of them. I think we yeah. mentioned a little bit last podcast about the the or was it just uh, on the site about the wedding. Yes, um, that just went up last night. They emailed and let us break the news. Yeah. That Chuck and Sarah Wedding dot com is it's basically just a placeholder right now. And guys, don't give them too much grief that the lady in the wedding cake topper has brown hair. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah. They'll make it a little more customized as mm-hmm. it goes along. Fans, I tell you, you gotta have it right from the beginning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah, they're intending to kind of let us go on this wedding planning journey with Chuck and Sarah, which I think is pretty cute, cool. Mm-hmm. And then within the Chuck tactical plan site on NBC.com slash Chuck is the project ISIS files. Mm-hmm. And you can go in and, and check those out. There's a passcode that you have to get and I'm not supposed to say what it is, but if you check the comments on ChuckTV.net on the article, you can find it. Uh, and get a little more intel. Mm-hmm. Cool. So, so uh, you over until next week. Yeah. So we had some some neat stuff in this episode. Now I was somewhat thrown when um, the Orion words came on Volkov's screen. <laughs> oh, um, I was so hoping that he was still there. But... Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I was really, really hoping that Papa B was was back in business. Um, but isn't it also, uh, as much as I miss Papa B, I really liked that it was, once again, we saw Chuck taking control and saying, I am Orion, you know, in the same way that he decided that he was going to be a spy. He made that choice. Yeah. Well, and I, th- I thought that made it all the more emotional because he was he was completing what his dad started and he was here was the guy who um, ultimately took away his dad that um i mean even i didn't quite understand that but i think we'll understand that maybe a little more later but um he 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 really credits this guy for destroying his family because he took away his mom and that led his dad down a dark path or whatever um and and to see chuck bring that closure not only did he capture this guy but how he captured him was so cool yeah, I was really excited. Uh, I, I really thought for a while there when Chuck was laying down on the ground and Volkov had the gun pointing at him that he was going to flash and go into his, you know, um, supersonic mode. But I, I thought it was so much better that he didn't. But I didn't realize at the time that his confidence came from knowing his plan and everything was going according to his plan. So for me, I loved that scene. I I just I just ate it up and I had chills. Mm-hmm. Well, and it, and it was um it was really more classically structured than than perhaps some of the other episodes. Like this this is what you would call in 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 films an all is lost moment, where um where it appears like there's total and complete failure, um where where Chuck is down, Volkov has the gun to his face. There's a, an assassin in the hospital who's uh, killing Casey, and he's right next door from his his sister and all the people he he loves. Um, like he's got an execution plan for every single person that he that he loves. Um, his his mom is apparently in custody and and all this stuff. So, um, when when he then pulled out of it with his wits, it was just so so amazing. Yeah, and Casey, yeah, uh, popping open and then just showing the, the finger monitor. You know? Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, and that really got me when I when I I knew it couldn't be that he was actually dead because mm-hmm. I've seen the photos for the next episode. But yeah. 
I just, my brain was just, couldn't, this does not compute. Wait, what is happening? What is happening? Yeah. yeah. But how much did you love that there were no bullets in that gun? <laughs> yeah. they, they, told us, they told us earlier in the episode, when Chuck told his mom, we really need to talk about the benefits of, a, of using trank guns. Yeah. And they told us, yeah. That the gun would not be loaded when they said that. Well, that's the fun. Leave, but that's... I, it didn't cross my mind, though. The gun's yeah. not loaded. Well, that's the fun thing with this episode. When you go back and watch it, there are so many things that they planted. Like um, mm-hmm. like planting that bonsai there and talking about the fact that, that, that he didn't bring a gun. And if you watch, Casey is showing them that thing on his finger. Um, like he's holding it up in front of the camera so that you make sure you, that you see that he's got yeah. that thing on his finger. But they did the old slide of hand thing where they showed us the bonsai tree, his yeah. other hand, mm-hmm. and not the hand that had the monitor on it. Yeah. So, yeah, that was ugh, lots of cleverness. Oh, and speaking of Easter eggs, we got paging Dr. Adler for no reason except it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no reason to do that except to give Allie Adler a shout out. Yeah. So, that was fun. Gotta, yeah. Prop to, this is a uh, Rafe Jedkins, Lauren LaFranc episode. Mm-hmm. And again, out of the ballpark. Yeah, yeah. They just definitely. they prove over and over. They prove that they were they've been check fans all along. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, all yeah, the little intricacies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Chuck and Morgan. At times, they could do amazing things, but they're still their bumbling selves, like g- grabbing the wrong guy, and both of them knowing that it was really a bathroom. <laughs> 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 No, it's hell. We worked really hard. <laughs> oh. And then and Morgan, Morgan not morning in wetsuit. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. And he didn't he look like Gollum to you when he first came yes. aboard the ship? Yes. <laughs> they they were. It. I pushed him. Yeah, it was funny. He, he did. He... Yeah. And then when he gets Sarah gives him his coat, her coat, and oh, oh yeah, this is going to be going to be a little small. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh no, he is satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Oh, we got a Settlers of Catan online shout out. What's that? I, uh, a Settlers of Catan online shout out. That's how they tracked down mm-hmm. uh, the, the engineer, the scientist. Yeah. Was through his his clan. Okay, I uh, I'm, I may be slightly addicted to that game. That's the game I play online. Oh yeah. Settlers of Catan. Yeah, it's. In case you wanted to know, games.asobrain.com. Mm-hmm. And I apologize in advance for your lack of productivity. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, we had some uh, some fun stuff like uh, Morgan's version of getting through the lasers. Yes. <laughs> Which I thought was fun, I, and and I I love that he ends up with his clothes off and he doesn't actually succeed. I don't understand why he had to take his clothes off. There's no, really that well, it, it, basically the lasers cut his clothes off. Yeah. Okay. I they, thought they, they were shredded. Yeah. Okay, but wasn't he wearing his wetsuit? Well, yeah. I guess so. But nothing it, under. That, so that's that's how yeah. close those things came. Yeah. I would have thought his beard would be gone too. Uh-huh. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> Some slice marks, you know, here and there. Mm-hmm. Would, it would oh. Have been- we got Sarah and Casey calling each other by their first names. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When when Casey was coming out of the coma, yeah. And he's saying pants, and you know, oh, he's never wore pants again. Uh, and he tells Chuck that Sarah, that, that came from Sarah. Mm-hmm. And then later on, when she sees that he's okay, and she calls him John. Mm-hmm. And we got the hug got edited out. Ugh! Oh, oh, there was a hug. There had to have been a hug. You uh-huh. know that's what she's going in for. Yeah. I hope that's on the hard. <laughs> but I loved the exchange between um, Casey and Alex. Mm-hmm. That was I thought that was extremely sweet. Um, I think she showed a bit of her father in her, you know mm-hmm. her. Well, I mean she did. She was pretty much channeling him. I'm not going anywhere. Um, she tells him, and um, I don't know. I just thought it was sweet. I liked it. For such a short time, you know, she just gets to know him, and uh, they have already got this bond. So, I don't know. And once again, Baldwin turns in an amazing performance. Mm -hmm. Very quiet, but 
powerful again. Yeah. I'm really loving what he's doing this season. Yeah. And now we should talk about the Jeffster song, <laughs> which people were mixed about. Mo Ryan thought it was their best yet. Um, I, I personally, I don't know why it just rubbed me the wrong way. Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I thought it was sweet that they wanted to be a part of Ellie Greenberg, that they felt like it was their right. Uh-huh. And it was sort of their gift to her, <laughs> even though she clearly didn't think it that way. But, you know, in their own way, it was a very sweet gesture. Mm-hmm. They and they got to mock the songs that are chosen for the show at the same time. Uh huh. So, so that yeah, indie- it was it was the wedding all over again. Uh huh. I I expected them to go a cappella. Like I I expected Jeff to break out those little glasses again. And and remember when they sang that that song, um, just unplugged and actually sounded really good. Yeah, that would have been nice. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, salt and pepper, acapella. <laughs> Not really sure if that would have been an improvement. Yeah. <laughs> but but at, thought... at least the saving grace, and I think they were very wise how they did this. If people liked it, they liked it, and they knew if people didn't like it, that they could take joy in the fact that they were taken away by the police. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. But, well, it's the people actually dancing with them. Uh-huh. Yeah. Esther may actually have fans. Uh-huh. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Oh, I thought it was funny. I mm-hmm. like the knack against Coldplay. Sorry. Uh-huh. I'm a Coldplay fan. No. I it was it was a kind of a meta moment because we get so many indie bands on the show. Mm-hmm. I thought that was that was funny. You know, and they are trying to do their part for the future music lovers. Mm-hmm. You know. And there was a really nice little moment between Casey and Devin with it when uh, they're in front of the baby room and Casey <laughs> talks about how he wasn't there for his daughter and mm-hmm. and basically uh, Casey just cuts through this fear that, that Devin has and, and basically it's like a little mi- military thing <laughs> he's just like get in there <laughs> do it yeah and, it, <laughs> and you could see the change come over Devin's yeah. face I really, um, I really liked that. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Um, I thought it was hysterical that he was reacting the way he was, you know, with, he's a doctor for crying out loud. It's yeah. not like it's something he didn't ever know about. So but I think it's just the fact that it was, it was happening to him and he was mm-hmm. the one. Being, well, you do get the sense that he's, he held her. you do yeah, get the he sense that play. he's obsessive comp- compulsive. Oh Yeah. Like, well, he had his own chart, his mm. own little plan up on the wall yeah. for the, getting Ellie to the hospital. But apparently the CIA came instead and did it. I'm not sure. But he had all these different variations depending on the time of day, mm-hmm. what traffic is like, so we, you know, which route they should take and keep the ga- the car full of gas at all times. And Yeah. 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 So Dev- Devin's awesome when his world is a certain way when it's his world gets shaken point. 